this is Soul, and uh, this is your general forecast reading for the week of July 11th through the uh, 17th, uh, 2016. Uh, before I begin your reading, I want to take this time and opportunity to thank everyone who has sent in um, birthday wishes and blessings. Um, just letting you know that um, it was truly, truly appreciative. And also, um, enjoyed my time off and had a blast for my birthday. Uh, so this is the reason why your video is coming up late. Um, still winding down. So anyway, I want to thank you for your patience. Uh, and this is going to be your reading, general forecast reading for this upcoming week that uh, has already started. So let's just jump right in it without further ado. Okay, for some Pisces uh, I am reading for, you have... Uh, the potential of dealing with the energy of the Hierophant, major arcana, major life event. And this is actually a positive card. And as I um, scoped your cards out prior to hitting the record, it seems like it's going to be a pretty good, uh, decent week for uh, some Pisces. This Hierophant uh, comes through um, with a couple of messages. It's um, first and foremost all about uh, learning and teaching. So whatever that is uh, and whatever it means to you, uh, because this is a general reading, you have to apply uh, the messages uh, to that situation. Uh, but then I feel that this is a week for some of you for learning. Uh, this could be actual, you know, um, education, you know, like some of you may be doing online courses, taking summer classes, something to do with it doesn't even have to relate to um, higher education. It could be just something as simple as learning uh, something that you didn't know or you're trying to learn that you didn't know and someone teaches you also to from you to them you could be teaching them it's like a it's a lot of reciprocity going on here um, Pisces teaches Pisces learn Pisces learn Pisces teaches this is the emphasis that I'm trying to put out there okay and also to um, the higher font represents um, the zodiac sign Taurus so it could be that you are um, teaching someone who is an earth sign uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo and it could go the other way someone teaches you about something that's an earth sign okay um, and also to this card comes in there may be some of you who may be you know having some sort of uh, I wouldn't necessarily say doubts, but there may be some sort of, you know, questioning your, uh, you know, your religious beliefs or if it's not you directly, someone, you know, questioning their beliefs, someone associated with you, if it's not you direct, directly um, questioning whatever it is that you stand for may come into question and then vice versa towards another individual from you. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Also, too, keep in mind that the higher fund for me, at least as I read the energy, it's about partnerships, too, okay? Because there could be um, some of you who may receive, uh, you know, like wedding invitations. Uh, some of you may personally be getting married. It all depends, but I have to throw it in there. Uh, but I do feel that there's some sort of uh, marriage, as I mentioned before, that this is related to partnerships. Um, so that's interesting. But getting back to what I had mentioned earlier about scoping your cards out and, and seeing the you know uh, cards before I hit the record, this is a fairly decent week because in the passing position yesterday going back to um, two weeks, and this is still part of your reading for this week, you have the nine of wands. Um, in the reverse position and I feel that it's a good card to have because it's overcoming those power struggles with others you know interference um, some of this energy could be related to fire sign uh, you know individuals Leo Aries Sagittarius male or female um, this could also represent having uh, to overcome internal battles and struggles within yourself Pisces okay and that's just you know merely is sorting things out in your own uh, emotional and physical state possibly uh, but I do see you know the wands whenever they come up especially if they're in the upright position that means it's a lot of stuff going on uh, external to you um, 
and it's coming from others. And this relates to uh, physical fights. You know, it could relate to arguments. But since it's in the reverse, it's overcoming that. So that's the energy of you having to already have dealt with that um, internal or external energy. And then moving forward, it's still part of your reading for this week. It's still winding down. And also to um, sort of solidify what I was just saying about overcoming battles and struggles um, from others, coming from others, and then, you know, your own internal stuff. Um, <clears throat> you have the four of swords in the reverse position, which is also a good card to have because that's coming out of a uh, period of conflict. And uh, for some of you, you know, like a rest period, it's like you did all the battling and struggling, whether it was external or uh, internal. And now it's time for you, you know, to come out of that phase and that conflict. Some of this uh, battles and conflicts could have been um, coming from the energy of air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. But I just see, you know, going into the middle of the week is overcoming some sort of um this also relates to overcoming a rest period, too. So maybe it's overcoming, uh, you know, a rest period from all of that activity uh, associated with the nine of wands. Um, and then further, we have the three of swords in the reverse. So this is actually uh, pretty good. So for some of you that I'm reading for now, this could because the swords always represents a, a split separation, heartache, uh, you know, related to love and relationships. But it doesn't have to be limited to that. It could be overcoming a separation split loss related to um something that is important or significant to you outside of the uh, love and relationship okay and this could be overcoming that grief overcoming the battles and struggles um the three represents maybe uh some of you are you know were involved in a uh love triangle and overcoming that disappointment this is friday's Friday going into Saturday, the weekend, um, overcoming grief, heartache, split separation. This three of swords also denotes, um, an ending to a divorce. Like, um, for some of you who may have been going through divorce proceedings, this is a card of saying that it's, it's, you know, it's over or about to be over an ending of that grief. Um, and that turmoil and conflict that you had. All right. So again, this uh, could be representative of air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, as I always say, it could be that they have those elements in their birth charts. And furthermore, it doesn't even have to be an air sign. It, it's just another individual coming th coming through. Okay. Overcoming grief from a personal split separation, uh, whether it was a involving a relationship, it's just something that's personal to you or that was personal to you and significant. Um, it could be, you know, that you lost something, you know, something material and you didn't, you know, you weren't able to find it, retrieve it or whatever. Uh, this also could have been, you know, related to, you know, a friendship, uh, you know, uh, a pet maybe that got lost or you know something happening there so I feel this is good energy for you Pisces for some of you that I'm reading for um, because you do have the major arcana the hierophant in the upfront or the upright position and you know it's about partnerships and I always see this too this is just me and how I read it that when I see it as a partnership and it's in the upright that means that if it ain't an actual wedding or whatever, that at least the relationships for you, um, for at least some of you, should be harmonious this week. That you're seeing eye to eye. It's like the two of cups and the lovers. Uh, I read differently than in most tower readers, but um, I always get different information uh, when I, these cards come up. So I just feel that this is a good week. Uh, to, you know, mend the fences and just be on the same page with um, 
not just romantic or intimate. It could be a friendship. It could be, you know, getting along with family members and getting along with coworkers. OK, that's what I wanted to stress. Anyway, this is your reading Pisces and the um, Magical Times Empowerment card that I have selected uh, for you to support your reading is Mercy. And on Mercy, it says, um, let compassion fill your world. Offer kindness to all living things. What you give you also receive. So that's a powerful message uh, to support your reading. And of course, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, then, you know, I draw these Oracle cards because there may be a message in the Oracle card that does and vice versa. OK, Pisces, I want to thank you once again for visiting my channel. I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Uh, once again, thank you for your patience. Until the next time, Pisces, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.